Beth, Kristen, you've actually, your parts have met before, although, Beth, you've known Kristen for longer than she's known you. I was just telling her backstage, and I almost started to cry, but she's the reason that I'm here and doing this. I, I went to the stage door of Wicked, the pre-Broadway trial, when it wasn't even on Broadway, three times! Well, <laughs> we actually have a photo of you at the yeah. stage door to prove it. Look oh, my God. This. I'm sorry for both too. of us. <laughs> She's so amazing, and I remember seeing her. Actually, it was you did Taylor the Latte Boy on the Rosie O'Donnell show, and I taped it well, you and saw I watched it. it. You were five. I watched. I was not five. <laughs> <laughs> I was in high school, and it was like that was not the cool thing to be doing. Oh but God. I was taping you on yes. that, and and then Wicked. Yeah, I, she's so incredible, and I was like the first one to listen to your album. I just okay. Love it. Starting you should to get, get it. It's, it's starting amazing. to get weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pump the brakes a little bit. It's Sorry, start Kristen. It started as a fun story. It's now becoming okay. a story of case. Okay. Do you remember meeting Beth at the stage door at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, okay. but I do think that she's incredible. And I just want to say right here on this couch, and I love the spoken word too, but I think that <laughs> I think you should do a musical on Broadway. Oh, so. shouldn't she? <laughs> I'm there for you, girls. Well, while we talk of pictures with celebrities, you took a picture with a a celebrity crush of yours, right? I tried to. So, you know, I'm very happily married. Yeah. um, And since I was 20 years old, like every other girl, I had a crush on Lenny Kravitz. So that's become like an ongoing joke with me and my husband. And I don't know him. And we got invited to a party. And I see my husband talking to Lenny Kravitz. So I'm like... Making my way, and this photographer goes, Oh, you know, Les, Lenny, let me get a picture of you two. And I'm like trying to make my way in, and Leslie turns around, <laughs> gives me this sneer, then physically blocks <gasps> me. No. <laughs> and he never puts his arm around someone. <laughs> and if you look at the picture, you can just see my eyebrows over. Well, like, like, like. I've got to tell you something. We found it. And here's the photo. And look, there is Julie's eyebrows. Just over the top. That's amazing. That's awesome. And yeah. I could, you could see in Leslie's eyes, he's going, yeah, no chance, get out. No you have way. great eyebrows, though. But really I see his point. Eyebrows. I don't trust this guy. No way. <laughs> I don't trust this guy around my wife. Kristen, who was your celebrity crush when um, you were growing up? Or who is it still? Oh, well, there's one, um, and his name... I, I, with, I never want to disrespect anyone's spouse. Yeah. With that being said, though, <laughs> um, there's this guy, Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. In yes. fact, I practice Kristen Channel with Cumberbatch <laughs> a lot. <laughs> That ain't gonna look too good on this album cover. <laughs> Let me tell you that right now. <laughs> Beth, other than Kristen, who's your top crush? <laughs> I've always loved Harry Connick Jr. Uh, well, a man with a piano. I mean, and he's just a hope floats. He's so handsome. Yes. I know. It's so nerdy. I <laughs> so didn't expect that to be the answer. It's the I truth. mean, I'm a Harry Connick Jr. fan, but <laughs> if all you need is a piano, Steve, things are looking Hi, up, Steve. buddy. <laughs>